in the quiet, tense aftermath of Lucian, cognoses fall at the hands of the Mighty Nine. The misshapen body of Lucian collapsed to the ground. The body ripped open from face to sternum, nearly in half, but tumbled to the ground and folded over itself. The remaining eyes of the Somnavum gone. In that quiet, you hear whispers in your mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dozens, hundreds, thousands of voices saying thank you. And you watch as these motes of light begin to drift out of the walls of the surrounding space and float up and out. The individual spirits, minds, souls, of every Eorian trapped and suffering for over a thousand years, finally left to rest. As that happens, the red glaring eyes upon your bodies also begin to fade. As the will that had tethered itself to you, ever hungry, was now gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The voices just continue, this cavalcade, nonstop around you. I reach over and I grab Yasha's hand and just grab her and just grab her by the face and kiss her. I kiss her back, I kiss her in each spot where the eyes were. <laughs> and then I just slowly turn and look at the Lucian's body. Same. Caleb is going to set his hands on the transmuter stone, which is as big as an ostrich egg and think of all the time and energy that went into making him able to destroy and tear down, and how good it feels to subvert that and turn it and use it to build and restore and heal. And I begin to summon up every ounce of learning and ability and skill an inspiration and imagination I have and channel it into the stone and fill it with the shared connection that everyone here has and try to summon our friend back from the beyond. I just place my hand down on top of his just for Moral support, if anything else. I release a hand and put it on the shoulder for all time's sake. So, I assume you're using the stone to cast Ray's Dead. Ray's Dead. It will destroy it. Yes. The stone immediately begins to crack. And from within those exposed interior bits, a warm, light blue light begins to drift out across the sundered body of Lucian. The light begins to envelop the body. And there's a brief, tiny little light in the cold eyes that's been snacked. The ritual has begun. Who would be the first? Kill. Yeah. To step up. Oh. Caleb looks to Yasha. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. What do I do? Ladies. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh god, I gotta think. Just talk to him. Um. Just bring. I, I still. Bring your memories to him. I think I, I have his coat. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. Sounds right. I have his belt. I think you have his coat. <clears throat> oh, right. 
Um, after we went back, I take out his jacket and smell it, and I sort of lay it over him, and I get really close and sort of kneel by his face. Please come back to us. I've missed you so much. I don't really know what to say or how you're supposed to do this, but all I want is for you to be here right now and be whole. I just lean down and give him a kiss on the cheek. Okay. As you pull away from kissing the cheek, the blue glow around the body, as the magic begins to set in, you see the two slightly offset sides come together, and the wound becomes just a line. Who wants to make the next? I'm going to pull out the tarot card deck. And I'm going to kneel down. Um, if you're at his head, I'll kneel down on his left hand side and face him. And I'm going to say, um, So I took the cards and I've added a few to it. And I think you're going to be super impressed with everything I've been doing. Um, but I still need you here to teach me everything because I'm kind of bullshitting, Molly. I don't really know what I'm doing, so. Um, if you could, like, come back and be my sensei, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. The blue light pulses and glows. The spell is still in effect. Would you like to make the last offering? There are times the charm. Empty no longer, Mr. Tea Leaf. I step up <clears throat> and I say, We couldn't save you the first time. We weren't strong enough. And that's not true any longer. And I take off the belt around my hands and I lay one that I ripped and put over his third eye and I take the second one and I just wad it and I hold it against his heart, pressing what blood is left in there into the surface of his skin. And I say, it's time to remind me of how much of an asshole I am. <sighs> Just holding the belt tightly to his body. As the light gathers around the body, the magic attempting to reach out into whatever space holds the souls here in the Astral Sea as so many go scattering outward now to search for one, a fragment of one, or is it a whole one? If souls can grow from but a piece, to try and reverse the trajectory of that one, if it is indeed available. Oh, oh no! I can't believe that just happened.
The magic feels like it finds something. But maybe it's because it's just a fragment of the spirit. It's not strong enough to bring it back. It's not strong enough magic. And as the light fades, the body is restored. The wounds are cleaned. And there before you is the body you remember as Malimok Tea Leaf. Sands the red eyes, of course. But the spear did not return. He's lifeless. Yes. I uh, lean down, kiss him on the forehead where he kissed me a long time ago, and push the sweaty hair out of his face. You are frustrating, but we will miss you. There's, there's, there's nothing else to do. Caleb. Uh, I, I tried. Well, we can't leave him here. No. No, no. I mean, there's a, a hill next to a road that he should be buried at. Or... Something even better. I think I, I can do something better. I'm going to go Very minutes quietly. left, now is the time. In the corner, cast Divine Intervention. I'm just sort of curious. Oh. Okay. Please tell me what this means, because no. I'm Did you succeed? Did you just succeed again? Wow, the wild mother really loves him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what you get for trusting a weasel. <laughs> Had a pretty baller <laughs> episode, just for the war. Just, you rolled a fucking two percent. I did. <laughs> you really did? I did. Holy fuck! Oh my god, wild mother, please hold be on, with us right on, now. Hold on, hold on. Um, and what are you? <clears throat> Whatever it was, just put it back. I think they've earned it. Put it back. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Did you mother? Did you fucking roll a zero two? That's what happened. Oh. Holy shit. Of all the fungus and moss that has grown through the decomposition, more plants begin to grow as well. Oh, this is okay, too, with the emotional whiplash. I need my fucking. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Wait, oh. wait. <laughs> Sorry. Vines and flowers and roots and ferns begin to bloom and blossom out of the ground surrounding his body. Begin to encase it in a way that's oddly familiar to one of you. You feel in this place of cold stillness, of death and vacancy, a warm breeze that smells sweet with hints of ocean. The green turns to brown and pulls away. Your eyes open for the first time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bolts up and runs. Wait, no! no! No, no, no! I'm just after. <laughs> Stops. Oh. 
100 episodes or so later. <laughs> empty. 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 Molly? Molly Mock Tea Leaf. Empty. No. Love? Love. Magician. <laughs> Tinker. <laughs> I'll cast disguise self and turn myself into a goblin. I jump back. <laughs> Joy. I go up and I hug him. <laughs> See. <laughs> Rumor. <laughs> Just looks at the other two. Empty. And he goes and lies down. Um, I'm Yasha. Love. <sighs> and I go over and give a big hug. I give the biggest hug back. Oh. <laughs> I look a little different. Everything else is still kind of the same, except I fell in love. <laughs> oh, regard. Mm. <laughs> Empty. Molly. Unless I guess you feel like you want to change it, now's a good time. You might need a new moniker. Mm. Hey, Caduceus. Yeah. You guys didn't get to meet. <laughs> I was letting you all have your moment. No, please, by all means. <laughs> <laughs> Following accents, I will not be responsible. <laughs> uh, Molly Mock, I guess Mr. T Leaf. Hello. How how are you feeling? Empty? Yeah, he's as riveting as you all say. <laughs> way more entertaining than this, I promise. <laughs> yours, your home or mine? Let's go to yours. All right, everybody. <laughs> yeah, this, this. <laughs> Excellent are... circuit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's nine. Yep. Met this city to the air. We're out. We finally that... got nine. Like nine, really nine, nine. That's we crazy. Built this city. <laughs> <laughs> With that flash of energy, you are all pulled from the astral sea, away from the now dead city of Cognosa. It's long-standing, terrifying tragedy concluded. And we'll end tonight's episode there. <gasps>
pick up. That is the most unbelievable. I can't believe that shit. The most unbelievable pinball turn of events. There's no reason why that should have worked. That should not have worked.